Catherine Johnson was born on August 26, 1918 in White Sulphur Spring, West Virginia. Her education was in mathematics in French West Virginia State College 1937. Her occupation was in physics and math maths research. She was known for calculating and trajectories for many NASA missions. She was married twice with Colonel James A. Johnson and James Francis Goebel. She had three children called Constance Goebel, Catherine Goebel, and Joy Letty Goebel. Catherine Johnson was handpicked to be one of three black students to integrate West Virginia's graduate schools. It is something that many people would consider one of their life's most notable moments, but it's just one of several big thoughts that have marked Catherine Johnson's long remarkable run. By age 13, she was attending the high school on the campus by historically black West Virginia State College. By 18, she enrolled in the college itself, where she made quick work of the school's math curriculum and found a mentoring lab person for W.W. Schifflin Clayter, the third African American to earn a Ph.D. in mathematics. Catherine graduated with highest honors in 1937 and took a job teaching at a black public school in Virginia. She started a family with her husband and raised three daughters. In 1952, a relative told her about open positions at the all-block West Area Combutting Section at the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics Langley Laboratory. Gavin and her husband, James Gobble, decided to move the family to New Partners to pursue the opportunity, and she began work at Langley in 1953. Just two weeks later, she was assigned to a project in the Maneuver Loads branch of Flight Research Division and her temporary position soon became permanent where she spent the next four years. When she was wrapping up this work, her husband died of cancer in December 1956. In 1957, Catherine provided some of the math for the 1958 document notes on space technology. Engineers from those groups formed the core of the Space Tax Group, and Catherine came along with the program. She did trajectory analysis for Alan Shepard's May 1961 Mission Freedom 7, America's first human space flight. It was in 1960, the first time a woman in the Flight Research Division had received credit as an author of a research report. In 1962, she was called upon to do work that had required the construction of a worldwide communications network linking the drug stations around the world. As a part of the pre-flight checklist, she was the one required to run the same number through the same equation that had been programmed into the computer but by hand on her desktop began a calculation machine. Her greatest contribution to space exploration was about the calculation that helped sync Project Apollo's lunar lander with the Moon Orbiting Command and Service model. She also worked on the Space Shuttle and the Earth Resources Satellite and Authored or Cothored 26 research reports. In 2015, at age 97, Katherine Johnson added another extraordinary achievement to her long life. President Obama awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom, America's highest civil and honor. Katherine Johnson, what an inspiration. Thanks for watching.